racing this time. Jumped OK, Gold City. So too did Hurricane Storm propose a toast on the outside. Tristalee, Yobro away quickly. With Courtley Quam, she's so special. The widest runner is Rover as Tristalee is going to cross with Sober Suit and lead at the judges box. Back near the left tail is uh, top rating with Cockade, Phantom Eagle in front of those shy stat. And Gold City going up on the inside near the tail. Uh, they're tightly jammed up and Kiwi Golf has got one away from the rails as they leave the straight. 1,700 out and Sober Suit takes the lead in the Eclipse by a length and a half second is Hurricane Storm. Just shading it now on the outside. Tristalier a length away to Storm. Yobro is caught out wide and going forward. Gold City back on the rails. Three parts Kiwi Golfer. Rover out three deep. A length and a half to Phantom Eagle. Back with Courtly Qualms on the outside. Is she so special in the back? A length to Cockade. Shystad propose a toast. And two lengths last of all is top rating. 1,300 metres out. And it's Sober Suit by a length. Second Tristalier. Third Hurricane Storm on the inside of Yobro. And splitting runner Storm. A length and a half then to Gold City with Kiwi Golfer and Rover on the outside, a line of three. Two away, then she's so special around Courtney Quams and Phantom Eagle. Another line of three next to our cockade on the inside of Proposer Toast and Shy a length away to top rating. 900 metres out as they come down the back, and the leader was Sober Suit. The top weight bowling by a length of the quarter, Tristalia, Hurricane Storm in the box seat. Yobro out deep, Storm the centre, one and a half, then to Rover. Gold City over on the inside, Kiwi Golfer in the centre. Then Courtney Quams, she's so special, Shy Stad taking off from the rear is top rating and last Phantom Eagle with Proposer Toast and Cockade. 600 out. Sober Suit endeavouring to lead all the way. A half in front of the boulder. Tristalia. Third placing Yobro. Rover on the outer. Then comes Hurricane Storm waiting for the run. Storm behind those runners. Gold City and then top rating. 400 metres out. Sober Suit grabbed by Tristalia over on the outside. Rover coming at them in the centre because Yobro. Hurricane Storm trying to get out. Gold City going for the split on the inside and getting it. 200 out and Gold City race to the lead. Greg Hall sends it for home. The second pick, Hurricane Storm, is after it. Gold City, Hurricane Storm, Tristalia battling away, then Cockade, Gold City in front, and Gold City wins the Eclipse of Neck. Hurricane Storm second, third, maybe Tristalia from Cockade, Kiwi Golfer, Proposer Toast, then Yobro behind it, she's so special, Storm, then top rating a week and on its run back with it, Courtly Qualms, then Sober Suit, and last in Phantom Eagle. Winner number three, Gold City, two ninety one fifty four Hurricane Storm, two dollars sixteen Tristalia, seventy six dollars sixty. Number uh, three, Gold City, to pay uh, three dollars the win and uh, one sixty the place. Number four, Hurricane Storm, a place dividend of one ninety. And third, number sixteen, Tristalia, fifty nine dollars forty the place. And on the inside, and he got it just before the two hundred metre mark. The horse burst through, actually probably about the 300 metre mark, the horse burst to take through to take the lead and then it's just held Hurricane Storm at that margin pretty well all the way for the last 200 metres with Tristalia Lear uh, probably getting 30. It's a photo, but it looks as if it may have just beaten Cockade here. Although there's not much in it between the pair of them after going to the lead on the point of the turn, Tristalia Lear and running one heck of a race. 210.7 the time there, 210.7. And the... Winner is number three, and that is Gold City, ridden by Greg Hall. Number four, Hurricane Storm, second, Darren Gauchi. And number 16 gets third, Tristalia, ridden by uh, Nicky Lawler. All right, moving up, Scone, race six and... OK, this... Gold from near the inside, and one of the best out was Seattle to surf. Stonebrook Meadow jumped well. Best habit is up, looking for the lead, followed by Pokey's Pet and Martinets, and then comes Blue Switch. Flying Machine hustling through on the inside, a length and a half further away. Making a little bit of ground now is Dry County, followed by, on the outside, Master Raider, an absolute royal warrior. They come down past the 700 metres, and Best Habit in front. Dry County moves up into second, Posse. Flying Machine third from Blue Switch and Stonebrook Meadow, Martin Nets Master Raider. Seattle Surf getting back now. So too is Pokey's Pet and Royal Warrior, the tail ender. Under the corner they run at the 500 and the leader, Best Habit, shows the way about a length and a half on the heavily supported Dry County. Wider is Stonebrook Meadow. Flying Machine on the rails. Then Blue Switch and the others are headed by Martinets. On top of the rise, Dry County given full reign by Die. Joins and heads Best Habit. Two lengths away third is Martinets, followed closely by Stonebrook Meadow. Dry County under the big weight of 59. A neck in front of Best Habit fighting back clear of Martinets. Dry County in front. They can't catch it. It's going to land some big bets. Dry County and three for die. Dry County beat Best Habit and Martinets. Followed home by Stonebrook Meadow with Flying Machine Master Raider. Royal Warrior then Seattle Surf. Good margin. Second last was Blue Switch and last Pokey's Pet. Dry County.
Number one, Jai County Super Tab, $3.140. Number two, Best Habit to return $1.90. And four, Martinet, $2.10. $60, and $1.60. Number two, second, Best Habit, written by Bob Alyssa, has paid $1.80. And number four, in third spot, Martinet's and it will return a dividend of $2.20. Dry County has run 110.6, 110.6, only 1.1 outside the class record, and is by Athorpe from Bowden, see trained by Bob Thompson. He's done a good job with this horse, for the owner's Tullock Lodge, a limited syndicate managed by NR Blizzard, and three winners for Shane Dye. The horse has had 12, 13 starts now for four wins, four seconds, and two thirds. One, two, four official. Best Habit second by Best Western from Victorian Oak. Brown Gilding 6, Pat Webster, Bob Alyssa and Martinets by Marauding from Castanets, Bay Gilding 4, Clary Connors, Glenn Boss. Well, that's the story of race number 6, Dry County heavily supported and lumping 59 to a nice win in the Club Kino RCA Eastern Zone Charity Cup. Melbourne. Supreme and Indian musician Super Shaquille slow out. Prince Marauding Cheshire, Miranda and Oberl have all begun quickly with Oberl on the outside, Just Sterling and Cannibal King working forward. Hong Kwok Star is deep at working up around French Halo and Oberl on the inside of those Martego. As they settle, Grand Bay behind those Vertigo on the inside. Now Ruleen's got a mile back with Sky Burner on the outside, Super Shaquille. Third last, Much Ado, Military Supreme and Indian musician last about 12.15 off the leader. 800 out, around and over by a length, Just Sterling, Cannibal King. King on the outside, Grand Andre. A length and a half to Chesham, Coltar on the inside and three wide Hong Kong Scra. Then Grand Bay racing around French Halo on the rails, Martego. Ruleen five deep before the turn from Super Shaquille. Prince Marauding's got a mile back with Vertigo. Then Much Ado and behind it, Skyburner. Forget the other two. In the straight, 400 out. Around and over the leader from Just Sterling, Cannibal King. Grand Andre shaken up. Cannibal King, Coltar trying to get away from the inside and racing up around them, but still deep. Hong Kong Star going after the leaders then Grand Bay and further back Ruleen but at the 200 around and over sprinted right away. Hong Kwok Star got to second. Running home strongly on the outside is Skyburner. Around and over stopping. Hong Kwok Star's not going to get to it though and around and over by a length to Hong Kwok Star. Skyburner and Prince Halo in a photo for third then Chesham Ruleen, Prince Marauding. Vertigo, Super Shaquille, Grand Bay, Martego, Grand Andre. Much ado into musician, well back Just Sterling, Military Supreme, Coltar and Cannibal King together at the rear. 12 around and over at 47.50 and $12.20. 11 Hong Kwok Star 260, photo third. 10 Sky Burner $4. 8 French Halo 370. On the uh, super tab there, number 12 around and over at $42.10. Second went to number 11, Hong Kwok Star 360. Those for third. 10, Sky Burner, 370, or number 8, French Halo, $3.30. Run the second horse, Hong, God, uh, Hong Kwok Star. He, uh, he's been four wide, three and four wide from start to finish from that barrier. Huge effort just beyond him next start. Great run there. But the winner is number 12, around and over, and a saviour in the quaddies, because, of course, it was bracketed with one of the popular picks in Raleen. Around and over first, just bowled in front by Sarond out of Sapphire's Dream, a deep Sapphire mare. Well, I check the miners, uh, scan And off they go. And Jacobite from a wide alley, actually first away. Wakulash jumped well. So did Mr. Neslo and travelling fourth on the inside, Revenge. Followed closely then by the Ducks, who's pratted out very wide from Al Man's Joy. And then comes in uh, Rhythm and Ardid and two lengths to Tamerlane. Felly bunch the field as they race along past the 1100. Die a clear cut leader aboard Jacobite by nearly two lengths, Wakulash. Third, Mr. Neslo. Two lengths further back is Al Man's Joy. And then Ardid outside, Revenge from in Rhythm. Off the track, the Ducks and a length further back, Tamerlane. As they come down to the 800 mark, a no change in the order, and the well-tried Jacobite by a length on Wakulash. So the favourites are at the head of proceedings here, with the second pick leading the outright elect. Third, Mr. Neslo. Two lengths, Revenge. Then L Man's Joy RD, the Ducks in rhythm, and Tamerlane is still last. Travelling to the corner, the three leaders get away here. Jacobite, a half length, Wakulash, and three quarters further out is Mr. Neslo. About three lengths further back, 
Revenge to RD and then L Man's Joy and the Ducks. In the straight 350 to go. Jacobite and Wakulash stride for stride. A length clear on Mr. Neslo. Revenge has made up many lengths at the 200. And die hands on heels on Jacobite with a rider on Wakulash. Marshall's had to go for the persuader. Revenge coming at them. But now Wakulash heads Jacobite. Wakulash, Jacobite and Wakulash. What an honest horse. Wakulash beat Jacobite narrowly. Third revenge than Mr. Neslo L Man's Joy. The Ducks Tamerlane are deed and last was in rhythm. He's going. Number two, Wakul Ash to pay three dollars and one forty. Number eight, Jacobite to pay one sixty and three revenge two ten. Second placing to number eight, Jacobite has returned one sixty. So the punters were right on target there, weren't they? First and second favourites in that order, and the number three and third place, Revenge, he went away shortly two dollars and twenty cents. Wakul Ash, Clary Connors for. K.A. and Mrs. W. Baker, Wakul Ash, a grey gilding, a seven-year-old, Jugar, naturally green, John Marshall, 52 starts, 13 wins, six seconds and nine thirds. Jacobite led up and uh, he fought on very well. He hasn't got under by far by Marsh K from Jamin, a brown gilding, three, John Hawk, Shane, Dyer. And third going to three, Revenge, Zetted of Satisfy, first up since July 6, good run, uh, Neville Begg, uh, Neville Lavoit. Bob Alyssa, two, eight, three, seven ran fourth, Mr. Neslo, and nine was fifth, Al Man's Joy. Overall time, 123.49, 123.49. It's 2.83 on race seven here at Royal Randwick, for which the Quinella paid 5.10, exacta $11.30, and the trifecta 59.20. If you've struck the double, one dry county, and two Wakul Ash, it's paid nicely at $15.40, and the margins, a long head, half a neck. A long head, half a neck. We'll have more news on that race in just a moment. Let's update race seven.